greeting friends today i am going to share with you is about the pediatric case taking why more and more children are taking homeopathic medicines today we have seen an increasing trend where more and more pediatric more and more patients more and more pediatric patients are taking homeopathy what is the reason there are few concepts or few understanding which a patient says they feel homeopathy is safe the parents they feel allopathy has got side effects children they do not take bitter medicines and homeopathy is very sweet to take homeopathy is very cheap so we have seen an increasing trend where people are turning towards homeopathy and more so with children parents nowadays don't want to take or make their child take allopathic medicines but are looking towards homeopathy as an alternative option that is the reason we have homeo care as a specialized pediatric clinic but then friends what is happening when these children are coming to us for treatment what are we doing what is our approach so i have seen homeopaths that for dentitional problem they give denton for every crying child chamomile is been prescribed if there is a worm complaint in the child sina is prescribed for cold and coryza pulsitor is prescribed is this right why do we do this the main reason why we do this is because we don't know how to approach a pediatric case taking so today my presentation is going to be on pediatric case taking here i'll be talking to you in generals about pediatric case taking how it has it is supposed to be go though supposedly very easy at first stop pediatric cases in homeopathy have since beginning has posed an intimidating challenges in my daily practice also i found pediatric cases to be very difficult initially whenever a child used to come to my clinic i used to get shivers what to ask what should i do how to should i take the cases of the child how do i judge the constitutional remedy of the child unlike adults where this tell their symptoms pediatric case taking in child is more on observation <coughs> it is fun to observe the child and prescribe for child but we create problems for ourselves whenever we see a child a crying baby the first remedy that comes to our mind is chamomile or sina for cold and cough pulsatilla for diarrhea aloe and podophyllum but what to do when you see a child my teachers used to tell me that pediatric case taking is very easy you have to observe the child interpret what the child is doing and then direct questioning to confirm your observation everybody says that observe the child observe the child but what to observe 
what to observe in this child how to interpret its observation how to confirm your interpretations so to understand or to make pediatric practice more easy what you have to is, do is understand the normal child when i say normal what i mean to say is you have to understand what is a normal behavior of the child understand the language of the child adults when you take cases they communicate to you through a verbal language but pediatric cases the child they will not communicate to you through a verbal language but through a non verbal language now understanding the child you have to understand the child in different groups this is categorized into four groups as infant toddlers preschool and schooling age now my whole presentation on this case taking in pediatric is going to be divided into these four stages case taking in infants case taking in toddlers case taking in preschool and case taking in schooling age why this differentiation is necessary because the child's nature it changes very rapidly what is normal for a schooling child will not be normal for a infant and vice versa what is normal for a toddler will not be normal for a schooling child say example if a toddler goes to school and he steals some objects like pencil or rubber from his peer from his colleague and bring back home this is quite normal for a toddler but the same behavior same stealing of or same picking up things from his colleagues is not normal for a schooling age there we will consider this child as a kleptomaniac so understanding the right age of the child is very important and the case taking will also differ depending upon the age group of the child so we'll have to understand how the infant behaves how the toddler behaves how the preschool behaves and how the schooling child behaves the basic point for pediatric case taking is these are common for all case taking is understand the chief complaints then there is mother's history during pregnancy which is also very important obstetric history how was the delivery is also very important vaccination history take the milestones of the child take the physical generals of the child and then a most important aspect is the mentals now to understand mind in a pediatric is very important when we talk of mental or we talk of mind we say we have to understand the temperament of the child what is the temperament of this child and why this temperament understanding is very important temperament is a trait which with you are born with it is determined by your unique neurological characteristics and unlike personality it cannot be changed now understand every child is different no two infants are alike and this was very aptly described by thomas and chase when they have said that no two infants are alike and my whole understanding of pediatric case taking is based on the concepts of thomas and chael when they try to understand the child with their longitudinal studies where they have characterized and identified the key factors for temperament of the child we'll take all the steps step by step in next slides